Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final day of our project Stage to the Cage and the only fight in this reality show project. So let's see who's gonna be the winner. The referee of this fight is Jan Wobornik. Three five minute round and a welterweight bout. Let me introduce you both fighters. And I will start in a blue corner. He's 35 years old, stands 186 centimeters tall, weighing 76.9 kilos, represent the Combat Institute. And the coaches in his corner is James Webb. He has a professional record of zero fights, representing Neruda Cup team fit for you and fighting out of United Kingdom. Ladies and gentlemen, Jake, too quick. Quick and dead! Across the cage in the red corner, 41 years old, 182 centimeters tall, weighting 77.1 kilo, represents Fighter Blueprint Academy. And the coaches in his corner are Tom Blackledge, Andrew Clamp, and James Lewis. This is his first professional fight, fighting out of Liverpool, United Kingdom. Paul Pablo Escobar Smith. Fighters, guys, you know everything. What do you need to know? Give us clear, hard on the fair fight. If you want to touch Klaus, do that now. And step back to your corner. God bless you. Touch gloves. Did you hear that sentence? Fighters, come here. That is what they are tonight. Forget whatever they've achieved, whoever they are outside the cage. For the next potential 15 minutes, they are going to battle, putting the test to te the test of their skills against each other. Jake Quickenden. Black shorts, blue corner, Paul Smith, white shorts, red corner. Paul said, I'm going to have to get through his striking. I'm going to have to deal with that early. I'm going to have to take some shots to try and get this to the mat. Oh. Early on, quicker than coming out aggressive and landing pretty heavy down the middle. Oh. And that low kick gets caught in on the single now. He gets ragged gold around on Smith. Recovers Listen, well. Recovers and goes for this. And Smith is coming from that black leg MMA. He has particularly trained the takedowns, particularly trained single legs, double legs. And he's trying to put that to use now. But look how strong Jake Quicken yeah, is. Yeah, and Jake Quicken is doing a great job of pushing away the head. Obviously knows that's a good concept to avoid the takedowns. And if, if Paul Smith can't get his head high, it's very difficult to convert those takedowns. And very strong is Quicken. For me, this is all about Low, low shot, I think, there from, from, hold on, hold from Quickenden. Needs to, or not holding the fence, was holding the fence. But for this, it's all about intensity. If they can maintain the intensity, who's going to get tired? Because first ever fight under these conditions with the pressure, that it, it, it's such a big deal. Oh, nice low kick. kick from Smith. There you go. Paul Smith said, I'm going to probably have to get through a few shots to try and connect for that takedown. Jake Quickenden, though, he's taken to it so naturally. Everyone that I've seen has trained with him says he's such a natural athlete. He learns so quickly. Oh, another heavy leg kick from Smith. Oh, oh, here nice we go. Right hand lands. Oh, big shot. Oh, again. big shot. Quickenden, look at Oh, he's done it. He's done it. He's connected. He gets the finish. Jake, too quick. Quickenden stops Paul Smith within the round. Gets the walk off wow. KO wow. with an uppercut straight right down the middle. Caught him, wow. rocked that man, Paul Smith. And then he launches that uppercut and finishes that Look. beautifully. First round knockout. Nothing but respect for both these guys. They have laid it on the line. If you have followed this entire series, the show Stage to the Cage, you can see just what they have put into this. Jake Quickenden. His power, though, James Webb talked to me about it, just how strong he was, just how good he was on the feet. And they said, look, he's a natural striker. Jake Quickenden, there he goes, is to his wife. I love you, he just said, because it's not just been him that's going through this. For this 10 months a year, he has had to, you know, give up time with his family, with his friends, with his wife, with his kids. And look what it means. Look what it means.
And I like to say, you know, it doesn't matter about the athleticism and the talent and all those sort of things, but it's so difficult to knock another man unconscious who's been training for 10 months to compete with you. It's such a hard thing to do. And people might not see that or feel that or believe that, but to achieve that the way he did in his first ever competition, you know, it's very impressive stuff from Quickenden. Oh, but Smith, what a legend he is. And he took some big shots, but there were just too many getting through. Here we go, this is the beginning of the end. Quickenden follows him in. When he gets him against the cage, that's when the real handiwork, the combinations, the right hand goes to work. It's that right hand oh. there, stuns him, and then he misses and goes for this uppercut, and that's the one that lands. So it's a, he was multiple right hands, but it was just one that landed on the button. You'll see it just here in one second. From here, Bob stuns him. He's out on his feet here and just gets finished off up the middle. Beautiful selection of shots from Jay Quickenden. But Paul Smith's mentality coming in here, I was oh. very, very impressed and look, with the intensity forget, that he brought. Let's not forget that he's done this for Charry. Every penny of his purse is going to weapons down, gloves up. He said, I'll only do this if it does some good. So even if I get knocked out, it will be worth something. I have so much respect for both these guys. What an insane journey. We see there, one minute and 16 seconds is all it took. And we knew Quickenden was going to be, a, you know, a fast starter, an aggressive, athletic guy. It was more if we could take him to deep wars and Smith could get him to the ground, if we could see how that could improve him. And that, 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 would, that would pay dividend for him because if Smith could get on top and he could wear down the gas tank of Quickenden, then we could see, you know, something special happen. We see there as Jake embraces with his wife, like you said, a hard fought 10 months, avoiding training, being away from each other. I know what it's like, and it's tough on the family and everyone involved, but let's make it official. Let's hand it over to Andre Novotny. Ladies and gentlemen, after one minute, 16 seconds of round number one, your winner by way of TKO, Jake Quickenden! I'm gonna speak to both you guys if that's okay. Before we do that, every single person in this audience, give these guys both a round of applause, give them a cheer. The journey they have been on, what they have sacrificed in time, time with them, their families, their loved ones, their friends, has been unreal. Jake, listen, it has been a phenomenal journey, an emotional one. I talk about the sacrifice because this is a team sport. Yes, you're in here on your own. The people behind you, the people that you have fought for, you said right from the start, you are dedicating yourself to this to show your kids what is possible, to show your stepson, your son, exactly what is possible if you dedicate yourself to something. It has been incredible to witness. Just sum up the emotions for me. You know what, it, it's been a long old 10 months and uh, I honestly just have so much respect for anybody that does any kind of combat sport. You've got to get in here, you're alone. You've obviously got your team with you, but it's long, it's hard days, hard nights training. And uh, honestly, like, Anybody that gets in here, they're animals, fucking animals. And Paul Smith, not only is he a gentleman, he's a funny bastard, he's also an animal. He's a, he's a warrior. Everybody in here should be proud of him as well. And I think both of us are pretty happy that this, uh, we're pretty happy that this is over because it's been long. I want to thank my beautiful wife. She held the fort down for 10 months, looking after the kids and, and, and allowed me to do this training and shit. I want to thank the Combat Institute, James Webb, Tommy Reed, Los James, my brother, um, just for helping me train and just getting me in shape. And I'm just going to go have a German Donner kebab now and a beer and just enjoy my night, man. And I can't wait to see my kids tomorrow. Well, listen, from me personally, I want to thank you for everything you have dedicated, the light. And by the way, I'm keeping these gloves. You can find me 100 euros. Fuck you.
They are yours, Jake Wickethead. I want to say thank you to you from the bottom of my heart, everything you have dedicated. It has been spectacular to witness and, this, and the, the light you have shone on this sport. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up one more time. Your winner, Jake Quickenden! <laughs> Paul Smith. Come here, my friends. Can you off out this? Listen, listen to every single one of these people. Listen to the love, the respect, and I tell you what, you earned it. Everything you've dedicated coming into here, forget the result, forget everything, the fact you're donating your money. There are kids here, the youth here, from weapons down, gloves up. You are changing lives with what you have done here over the last 10 months. I am so proud of you. Listen, and I'm so glad I kept calling you and bugging you to do this. Just sum it up, the support you've had and what this means, the whole journey, what it means to be part of this and what you've done tonight. Do you know what, even, I mean, do you know what I, I'm obviously gutted about the result, but it's still, it's been one of the best things I've ever done in my life. Massive respect to you. I wish you'd all cheer him, he shouldn't be him, he's a fucking good guy. Please cheer him, because he fucking deserved that. <laughs> I, do you know what? I, I was I, all the way through this. We've both been respectful. He's been nothing but lovely, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Do you know what? I'm, I'm, I made up for him that he got the result. He fucking hits hard, man. That first shot, that first right cross came, and I was like, oh shit! <laughs> Grab hold of him, and then I grabbed him. I was like, this cunt's well heavier than me. <laughs> <laughs> He's got fucking lead legs in him. Mate, I can't wait to see the full Monty. His dick must be about 13 inches long. <laughs> Fucking hell. But you know, do you know what? I've come here and the main thing was I've, I've, I've earned a good amount of money for a very good cause and, and, and I hope. Oh. Do you know what? Beyond it all, beyond this, beyond, the, the main thing is that I'm in the best shape. Of, I never thought I'd see a fucking ab on me. And I've got abs. They'll be gone next week, like, but I've seen them and I've got a picture. So fuck yous. <laughs> And um, I've got a brand new family in Black Ledge. And I just want to say thank you to Tom and Clamp and Lou and everyone there for family to me now. I, fucking, I can't explain how much I love those guys. Just training and also for me, Ed. I've never met people like them that said, I've got to thank my beautiful wife as well as pulling on me being a cranky cunt. Sorry for saying <laughs> cranky bastard for, for, for a while. And um, yeah, it's just anyone out there who, who, who if you want to try MMA, I, I, all these gyms around the country, everyone, it's too many to mention, but all these gyms, while I've been traveling around, they've let me come down and train. I can't thank you all enough. Go down to your local MMA gym, support these places and keep them going, because all the kids, they need boxing gyms, MMA gyms. They need these communities, man, we need it. We need to all be working together and get these kids stop fucking stabbing each other and shooting each other. Get them in the cage, you win, you lose. We have respect for each other. And that's the main thing I wanted to bring to this now. Nothing but for respect for you. I'm sure you're going to get half an hour of material out of this. So pa Pablo Hesbad, the next tour's on sale already, right? It's on sale. It's nearly sold out, I'll be honest. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, back here. I'm back in this room next year. Next summer. Hopefully that'll be a better result. I'll actually win that one. <laughs> Listen, ladies and gentlemen, give it up one more time. Both of these guys, Jake Quickenden and Paul Smith. The year 2024 is coming and so is Octagon MMA. Our UK and Irish adventure continues with four more events on British soil coming next year. The most spectacular MMA show in Europe has to be experienced to be believed. Bringing you the best talent from the UK and Ireland as well as stars from Europe and beyond. Atmosphere, emotions and adrenaline all in one place. This is where Shamrock shines. First stop is Newcastle on January 27th, and then Birmingham. Tickets on sale from November 20th.